Starting to get going. He hasn't been on the scene. Now it's the second half. The game still plenty of time on the clock, but it starts on defense if you count. Hurdle. Foul. And committed to USC. More than double Oregon, who's second in the Pac-12. This goes to show you the history and tradition at USC. Still Utah with the lead. As USC trying to snap a five-game losing streak. As Jakob Pertle underneath. A, he and Reinhardt combined for 65 of the 94 put up by USC. Need that killer instinct, and right now the Utes have kind of left the door open and allowed USC to have a little bit of a run. Jakob Pertle with a block shot. And Malik Marquette. Here's Jordan Leverage inside. Championship season on to Indianapolis where they beat Butler in the end. Hayward's very nearly hitting the epic shot, but it came out of Houston five years ago here in Houston. 500th anniversary of the dead, the uh, 50th Chicago. anniversary. Most, most desired ticket in the... You definitely have to take advantage of those wide open looks, especially when it's a guy like Bo Barnes from the corner. No, it's a missed, shooter. It's a missed opportunity shot really for the Sun Devils considering the fact that Utah has been in a little bit of an offensive drought the last yeah, few percent. Exactly. Pertle gets... Wallace and Bird for Cal have combined for 31 of Cal's 42 points. Back of Hurdle. To the basket. He hits and Dusan Ristich. Utah's a deeper team. For Cod Chapman in for the youth, but the great entry and look at that. With the seal and the finish. Zip two and a half to play first half. Down low. Hurdle's been this final game. He'll play in Matthew Matarena. Won a state championship as a high schooler in Alaska. Hurdle. Down low, left hand, no. But right this run, you gotta find him. Right with the ball from LA. Another play for the Portland Trailblazers. Where's the same number? Here's Purple inside. I love the intensity of Chaka coming in the game. Not shy. It's a big stage. It's the Huntsman Center, but who cares? He's letting them fly. Nine out of their last ten, Callis Bain. Yaka. Within four, neither team shooting well from the line. Utah actually hasn't taken a free throw here in the second half. Entry pass to Purple. Good catch. Now the Bronx gonna go some man to man. That's there, right? 15 to shoot. Season high 17 against Idaho. Had 15 against a really good St. Louis team. In fact, the the Jackrabbits will tell you that's the best team they've beaten this year. Well, he's got some moxie. He comes in fearless. Spinning inside. John Thompson at the start of this first half for Georgetown. Oakland is a freshman from Raleigh, North Carolina. Most of his high school at Ravens Croft High School. I saw a couple freshmen in the game before us. Don't shoot the ball particularly well and Stanley Johnson. And Stanley Johnson. That's his forte. They miss a lot of shots, so they are most adept at that. Leading the conference in offensive rebounds per game. And when you look at the uh, a lot of the advanced studies in basketball, Pirtle, nice little step. USC showing signs of life and trying to claw back into this game. Well, Utah's got to find Pirtle on the block. They did so much damage with him. Here you see the cross screen bringing him to the block. Unable to get it inside. Jordan Loveridge missed. Inbounds with five to shoot. Hurdle the left hand yeah. off the glass. There's Jakob Hurdle going and running up shy. Five eight guards out there on the court at the same time. 
Midway through the first half, it's a two-point Utah lead. And the Utes just slowing it down a little bit here. They don't want to play at Oregon's pace all night. Entry pass was great that time. And Pirtle 